your shoes weren't that bad, but my, my boots are probably better. <laughs> Got my, my walking custom walking soles on there. Look at that. And still looking good. And a quarter inch cedar mill party plank and all the fiber cement trims with it we're on the galindo project as you can see it has old wood siding and we're going to be transforming this home into a beautiful colonial hardy plank with a real wood look and texture and we're going to see some of the techniques we're using we've been to another project before but now we're going to see it during the installation so i hope you'll join me on this and enjoy it Put your head, Morgan. Oh my goodness. We're going to get under the scaffold. Right up here, you see. We've already done some siding there, and we've done some siding here, and we're going to go back to the backyard. How y'all doing? Yeah. Good. How's it going? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Looks like we got it going well. The job is real nice and neat. I appreciate that very much. And I see we're halfway up. We've got the little shim on the wall there. I'm going to go up there and take a look at it. Okay. Go ahead. And uh, Juan, why don't you join me up there? It's a little wet on the metal roof, right? Yeah, a little stick, so a little careful. slippery. We'll be all right, though. We'll be all right. If I fall, you'll catch me. Here's the shim that we, that we put in here. At each joint, when we butt a joint, we're putting in a Tyvek shim that allows any moisture to travel right back down onto the siding. This also shows the blind nailing that's, a, that's below the, the, the next sheet. So this completely covers it. And look what a great job it is with those nails, just perfectly flush. It is really, really tight. If you look on top, you can see how tight it is. Show them right there, Justin, how tight that is to the siding. So it's not only driven up tight, but the nail is really tight too. And so it lay, allows the next row to lay down really flush because there's no nail sticking out. And it's not overdriven either. If it's overdriven, then it starts to break and fracture the hardy plank siding. So this shim is a waterproof shim, and you just simply put these in at every joint and it works great. And then we do not have to caulk them. And when these things slightly expand and contract, when the next pieces go on here, it'll move and expand and contract ever so slightly, but it'll never be a water issue because it'll come back. You can see how far that goes back. Nice even cuts along here along the rake of the roof and that that indicates a real nice even channel for water to get out and for debris debris won't collect and get stuck on here what can happen is is we can we can actually get water pulling back into it and so this is a this is a really good installation right here we're also doing a skinning of the fascia you can see the old fascia has got rotting, and if Justin will come down here a little bit, he can look at the, he can show the two differences in one view. Come on down here, Justin, and look at the difference between that, and I'll make sure you don't step off. Okay, look up here, turn around now. Now you can see the rotting in the fascia, and the splitting and the cracking up here, and this is, this is all things that we're gonna cover up. While we're doing the siding, we're gonna cover all this up, cover all this up, and now let's go back over here and see what it looks like. This is a skin, it's a fiber cement skin, it's the same thing as the hardy siding, but it's going right on top of the, the fascia. And now this will all be rot proof. And we don't have to worry about what's gonna, if this is gonna continue to deteriorate anymore. It will not deteriorate anymore. And it's gonna be really, uh, the paint will stick way better than it has to the siding in the past. It's required repeated paintings over the years and it's still not preventing it from getting rotting because it absorbs moisture from the bottom and from other places. It just gets very small little fissures in it. Juan, look at, back up a little bit here, Juan, and let's show let's show Justin what what we deal with on siding that looks from the from the outside. It looks painted. Can you focus in on here, Justin, and see the little cracks that are in here? Mm -hmm. Can you see that these little cracks and these little minute little s splits have end up creating soft spots in this in this and to the to the common user, the homeowner, they're not gonna know that this is happening, but it's literally just falling apart. It's, it's soft, just with a pin, it's coming apart. So this is why fiber cement is so much better. None of this micro splitting 
this little fissures that get really soft occurs with fiber cement, like it does with wood. There's no way for it to get moisture in it. And once, and even paint cannot stretch as much as this, this material starts to flex and crack. So you can't, you can't get paint to spread to really flex that much. There's a few paints on the market that do, but even then, once it gets behind that paint, it usually allows more moisture to, to get in than comes out, so it doesn't dry out and it just keeps on staying wet. And that's really, really bad. So to covering it all up, the step we do before is to put the Tyvek over it. We make sure that it's nailed really well, put the Tyvek over, then cover it with hardy plank and do it the right way where you've got no cracking, no movement, and moisture proofing every joint. That's a key. Good job, Juan. Sylvia looks great. Your shoes weren't that bad, but my, my boots are probably better. <laughs> Got my, my walking custom walking soles on there. Look at that. And still looking good. But uh, Morgan would have had fun up there. Uh, that's why I chose we not to go. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a project that will be done by the end of the week. We start, then the painters get in there and start painting. The but whole house yeah. is going to be redone. Yeah, the whole house, all the wooden trims will be redone. So, so it'll be fun to see what this looks like. The next time we come back, we'll be painting. Okay. And you get to see what your home could look like. But it's not only about appearance. As we saw in the details, things are happening to your home that you may not even be aware of. Some of the, the minor cracking going on, the moisture getting in, and even insects and, and eventually rodents like to get in there. Little, little squirrels and rats can get up in there and get into your attic and cause a whole bunch of damage. This reduces that because mainly they don't like digging into hardy fiber cement. It's not soft because it's been getting and absorbing moisture. And so that, that eliminates most chances of them wanting to go ahead and start burrowing in there. So you want to get rid of that soft wood, get it from being exposed. If some of it's a little bit weak on the under, underside of it, we fix those areas, we patch them in and put something hard on there so that the new siding can be nailed down. The product that we nail it over is uh, sometimes you, you can't do what we're doing here, which is go right over another siding. But this siding was in good shape and it is a real wood product that we can nail hardy plank to in there. The warranty, the instructions that we're certified to do for the install allow us to do that. But there are other products that you cannot put hardy over. So you have to strip it off and you have to put OSB because we do not recommend putting it directly over the studs. Hardy plank has a, high, has a very easy bursting, a breaking point. But when it's under plywood, it is just the perfect combination. So you, you definitely want to have something under that. So it'll, it'll not only give them something that will be rot free for the rest of the life of the home, but will also have a, an adhesion of paint much better than anything else that's ever th that's on the market. The adhesion of paint to this product, to the fiber cement, is the greatest that we've ever seen in the industry. So your paint job lasts the full length of whatever paint you're putting on it, whether it's 20, 25, or lifetime paint. It can actually stay on there the whole time. With some paints, I mean with some, with most products, the paint might actually be lasting, but it's bubbling off because it's getting moisture behind it. It just won't last. But on fiber cement products, it adheres extremely well and it will not come off. So you're getting a great paint job whenever you buy your, your duration paint, your super paint, whatever you're using. I believe on this one, we're using duration, Sherwin-Williams duration, and that's gonna be a lifetime warranty paint. So look forward to showing you all the next time what the siding looks like we should be painting at that time and i think you're really gonna like what you see try to remember this look at the video before and after and just see what see what a great difference this can make for your home